Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide. In this lesson, we'll learn about mutations in the DNA. First, let's talk about the single nucleotide substitution mutations. A transition point mutation is a mutation in which a purine is substituted for another purine, for example, A to G, or a pyrimidine to a pyrimidine, C to T. A transversion point mutation is a purine to a pyrimidine or a pyrimidine to a purine, A to T or C to G. If the point mutation has no effect on the outcome of a specific amino acid, then it is referred to as a silent mutation. The wobble position allows a third base codon to often result in a silent mutation. If the point mutation does change the amino acid, then it is called a missense mutation. If the new amino acid is similar in structure to the last, such as leucine to isoleucine or glutamate to aspartate, then it is called a conservative mutation because it relatively conserves the structure and function. An example of a non-conservative point mutation is sickle cell disease. This changes a glutamic acid to valine, which are highly different in nature. If the point mutation results in creating a stop codon, this is called a nonsense mutation. The stop codons are UGA, UAA, and UAG. Remember, you go away, you are annoying, and you are gone. This usually makes the protein non-functional. Remember, stop the nonsense. Now, let's look at the other kinds of mutations. A frameshift mutation is a mutation in which a nucleotide is added or deleted from the sequence. Because DNA is read by the three-letter codons, by removing or adding nucleotides, the nucleotides downstream of the addition or deletion will all be read incorrectly. If one was added, each codon downstream will contain one nucleotide from the next codon and two from the original, which would code for all the wrong proteins. Diseases in which frameshift mutations occur are Tay-Sachs disease, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. A splice site mutation is a portion of intron from the pre-RNA that was not spliced out and included in translation. This will impair or alter the function of the protein. Some examples of this mutation are some rare cases of cancer, dementia, epilepsy, some types of beta thalassemia, Gaucher disease, and Marfan syndrome. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.